Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and in today's video we will be talking about a new limitation within Google Merchant Center Next. This does not apply to Google Merchant Center Classic. So if you're using the Shopify app Google and YouTube, you normally can automatically submit your shipping rates. However, you should be also able to switch it off and then manually add your shipping rates within Google Merchant Center. However, as of two weeks ago, certain merchants have completely that that's no longer possible. Uh, this started out in the Shopify community and now also in the Google Ads community, people have complained that you cannot manually add shipping rates. Upon further investigation, this is indeed true. So as normal, you could uh, hide or show the shipping rates. However, before it, it said disabled. Um, so it seems like with this visibility change, how it, how it visually looks, uh, they have disabled the function to deliver, uh, to manually set the shipping rates. Normally it should look like this, where you can add shipping policy, or in the US it will say delivery policy. So this should have been added there, however that is no longer the case. So there are two options you can move forward to. The first one is untested because I don't have any clients with this issue. So I don't want to uh, switch off the connection. But what I would recommend is going to the gear icon within Google Merchant Center next and go to apps and services. Once this is loaded, you click on manage next to Shopify and you unlink it then hopefully wait like within an hour or so this should be then no longer uh, a function within google merchant center now i'm saying i hope because th that will be the logical uh, explanation to uh, show it again uh, i don't see any other option that you can do to make google not think that you're still connected so if that does not work, then the only other option is to revert to Google Merchant Center Classic. And you can do that by clicking on the question mark, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you click on Use Classic Merchant Center. Uh, it will give you a warning that says certain features are disabled or might not work when you're migrating. However, there is nothing at the moment that you should be concerned about. Everything will work as normal. So just revert. Um, and then you can uh, add your manual shipping rates. Please note that once you've added, uh, once you've migrated the Merchant Center to Classic, you cannot revert back to uh, Next until it is fully released. Google Merchant Center Next is actually still in beta. In the meantime, I also recommend that you submit feedback to Google because this is actually uh, a bad uh, solution uh, for merchants because Shopify has known to be not submitting accurate shipping rates for a very long time. So, well, it's not actually Shopify. It's Google Google's app that does not submit the correct details. So uh, sending feedback that this feature should not be disabled is an important one because otherwise, uh, if nobody submits feedback, then this issue will of course not be reverted that is today's news thank you for watching see you in the next one